you know, we deal with all the time. When you have the initial trial date that's set at arraignment, nobody really has to check their calendar because we all know that it's a fake date and it's going to get changed the moment that somebody files that first motion. So um, I think that to really try and read anything into dates that they're talking about right now, um, wait and see. It'll change. Let me ask you about Rudy Giuliani. He turned himself in yesterday. We have his uh, mugshot we can put on the screen. Uh, there's a lot of talk about his financial troubles. His bond was set at $150,000 and after he left the, the jail he was seen going to a bail bondsman. Uh, finances for Rudy Giuliani, what can you tell us about how hard it might be for him to find adequate representation? Oh, it's very hard. I mean, you know, like I said, this is a case that I think the trial itself is going to take four months, which means you have to find attorneys that are willing to set aside their entire practice, not take on any new cases, not go into the office, not deal with anything else for over four straight months. I mean, that's an extremely expensive proposition. And so to, you can't find somebody that's just going to want to do that, you know, as a favor. Uh, it is it's the kind of thing that could kill your practice so you know it is it's going to cost a lot of money for every single one of these defendants and i think fanny willis knows that i mean that's something the prosecutors often do is they bring a case that bleeds you dry and puts you into a position where you have to plead guilty 